Doodle tutorial, how to use Doodle for beginners, scheduling tool. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at Doodle and how you can get started with this simple and free to use scheduling tool. So let's get into it. Now to get started with Doodle, all you have to do is head on over to doodle.com. Once you are on doodle.com, you can click on sign up on the top right over here. Once you click on sign up, you can enter your email address or continue with Google, Apple, Facebook, or Microsoft. So I'm just going to continue on with Google over here and we're just going to create our account like so. Now, after that, Doodle will ask you if you want to connect your Google Calendar or your Apple Calendar. So you can choose to enable or disable that option. I have previously connected my calendar with Doodle as well. It works great. And you can see over here, it shows me my calendar. Now, after that, once I have logged onto my account or created my account, you can start by creating your first Doodle. Now, what does this mean and how can you set up your scheduling with these two options? Because you don't understand what is a poll or what is a one-on-one -on -one meeting well it's a very simple software that enables you to create a uh, schedule for either one-on-one -on -one meetings group polls but if you want to only schedule for yourself maybe you are running a clinic maybe you are a doctor and you're running a clinic and you have specific times that you will be available for for that you have to subscribe to the pro version of doodle where you can see your booking pages on the right side of your screen you can click on that over here and click on get pro and this will lead you to their premium subscriptions i will lead you guys and talk to you about the different prices and subscriptions of doodle later on as well but for now i will show you guys exactly how to get started now uh, you can see over here i've deleted the previously created booking page and now i can create a new booking page so doodle allows you to create one booking page so if you run one business or you just want to create a schedule for one specific business or area of your you know work then you can easily do that i will simply go on ahead and connect calendars and you can choose to connect your google calendar or any other calendar that you might want but i just want to create a booking page and i will just continue on over here so i'm just going to connect my calendar i will reconnect to my google account over here and you can choose to connect any kind of calendar that you have been using for scheduling or for marking your events. And I will show you guys a simple setup for a scheduling uh, booking section. So after that, you will create your booking page. Now, you can enter whatever title, whatever your business name is. If it's a specific event, you can enter that as well. Let's say I have a simple uh, therapy clinic or, you know, I could run a wet business. Maybe I run a wet clinic. So after that, I'm just going to enter the title. This will be my booking page link then you can add descriptions so over here you can enter your description in your description you can enter some baseline rules that you might have for your business you can enter any kind of basic information that you might want to convey uh, you can enter that over here maybe you have certain rules timings maybe you only have like a five minute buffer time for a clinic so you can enter all of that in your description after that you can enter your location whatever your address is if this is a online meeting or a online business you can enter that as well but we're just going to continue on over here then you will enter your duration and availability so you can choose how long people can book you from and let's say that till what date can they book you from so maybe currently it's january maybe i only want to take bookings up till the next month i don't want to take bookings after february because i don't know whether or not i'll be working in the same area or whether i might be you know taking a break or something so for that i can choose future bookings and i only want to take bookings two months into the future and for each booking i maybe want a 40 minute duration so 40 minutes and maybe i just do plus minus 20 minutes as my buffer time instead of using 60 minutes as a duration because it might end the meeting or you know my schedule might just be a little shorter maybe it doesn't require the entire 60 minutes now after that when can people book you so from when to when will you be available now i'm just going to go on ahead and uh, continue and add my time so you can click on add hours over here and maybe i'm available every day but i'm available at nine or maybe i'm available from one to nine so i'm available one to nine and you can save that over here like this so i can delete the previous nine to five one like so 
like so I've deleted the 9 to 5 now. If I want to add a break in between, a simple way, let's say I take a break from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. So this is my first availability slot. Then I'm going to click on Add Hours, and I'm going to add my hours on as 4 p.m. because I take a break on 4 p.m. and 4 to 9, like so. Save. So you can see I've added 4 to 9 as like my second slot of work because I take a break in between. You can simply do that by, you know, uh, whenever you're adding your hours, you can take a look at your first section of work, then your break, and then you're going to enter the timings for your second section of work. Then you have some power settings such as your booking intervals. You can add an interval of 5 minutes to 45 minutes to an hour for your bookings. You also have buffer time, so yeah, I'm adding 5 minutes as buffer times, and you have a minimum notice. So let's Let's see, I only take a minimum notice of 30 minutes and then you can add a maximum bookings per day. So let's say I don't want to take any more than six bookings a day and I can enter that over here. Then you have your calendar and these bookings will automatically be added to your Google calendar. You can also have reminders so you can enable booking reminders so people will be reminded for their booking and you can also add custom invite field. So you can add a custom uh, invite field where people can, um, you know, reply to you and if you want to, you know, get their feedback, you can enter those over here as well. But I'm just going to leave that. Then you're going to click on create booking page over here. You're going to click on share page and now you can use this page and if i paste and go on to this link over here so i just pasted this link and now it is loading up on my screen it's only going to take a couple of seconds so you can see i am currently logged into my account but i'll show you guys in a new tab how it's going to look like for your customers or your clients I'm going to accept all the cookies and now you can see a client can book me like this it's super simple and easy you can see all the basic descriptions all information uh, it shows my clinic name it shows the duration that they can book me from the date that they can book me from so maybe I want they want to book me from the 17th and they want to book me for 6 p.m. 605 they can enter their name and email and just book their specific slot so that is how simple and easy it is to get started with your scheduling on doodle now, if you just have set up your scheduling and then maybe you have a business meeting. So maybe you're running a business, you have a couple of colleagues and people are working with you. You have a bunch of people. Then you might want to find the best time for everyone to, you know, talk together. Even if it's not for business, it could be for school. It could be for other things. You can click on create a poll and you can create a poll for when is the suitable time to meet. So you can enter the title, group, project. And then you can enter descriptions, locations, and you can enter the possible time. So how long is this event going to be? Let's say it's going to be 60 minutes. And let's say you're going to add a couple of different slots. So people can go on ahead and you can create a invite and continue. And then people can, uh, you know, enter when they are going to be the most comfortable in attending that meeting. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.